Hello guys, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to be talking about the partial pressure of a gas. Now, let's take a bit or let's take a look at the scenario. Maybe you are in the hostel and uh, you are very, very hungry. You have Indomie to cook, but you don't have stove or a power of what? Uh, electricity to boil the Indomie. Probably you don't have egg also. And then uh, somebody you don't have pot. Then your friends came together and contributed these things. Now, the food is ready. Your contribution to the making of that food is the what? Is the partial pressure. Is the what? The partial pressure. Your contribution, that means the contribution that you make, you make is your what? Your partial pressure. Or let's say in this case your partial contribution. Now, first of all, what is pressure? We know that pressure from our physics knowledge, pressure is equal to the force acting on a unit area. The pressure is the force acting on a unit area. That is the pressure, the force acting on a unit area. Now, having known that the pressure is equal to the force acting on the unit area. That is to say, the smaller the area, the higher the word, the higher the pressure. Now, let's leave all that first. For the partial pressure, the partial pressure is given by the total pressure P is equal to Sj times the total pressure. Pj is equal to Sj times the total pressure. Now, for gases, what is this partial pressure for gases? Whenever you have a mixture of gases, let's say nitrogen, oxygen, argon, when you have this mixture of gases, now, the partial pressure is the contribution that one of these gases make to the entire uh, 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 pressure. The contribution that one of the gases make to the entire world pressure is what is called the partial pressure now so that is that having understood that concept there are some things that you must understand in order to provide solution when it comes to what partial pressure question and that is this pj is equal to sj times what p pj is equal to sj times p here sj is equal to nj over N. What is SJ? SJ is equal to the 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 uh, mole fraction. SJ is equal to the mole fraction of the gas. Now the mole fraction can be calculated by writing the number of moles of the individual gas all over. The number of moles of the total gas. Now, having understood this, if you have one gas or if you have no gas at all, your mole fraction will be what? Zero. If you have no gas, your mole fraction will be what? Zero. If you have one gas, let's say SA, your mole fraction will be one. What if you have two gas, let's say SA plus SB? your mole fraction must be equal to what? 1 also. So that is to say, if you have plenty gases, SA plus SB plus SC, your total mole fraction must be equal to 1. Plus, it continues like that. The mole fraction is equal to 1. So whatever one that is given to you, the sum total of all the mole fraction is equal to what? 1. Having understood all that, and Let's say we have gas A, gas B, gas C, and gas D. This N, which is the number of moles of the total gas, is equal to Na plus Nb plus Nc plus Nd. This is the number of moles for this N. That is our N is equal to if you add all the number of moles of the individual components of the gases together it will give us what the total number of moles 
So if, for example, you have gas A, B, C, D, and these are their number of moles, adding them together will give us our what? N, which is the total number of moles of the gas. So the general overview of what this particular topic is trying to tell us is if you have a mixture of gases, let's say oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and the rest, and then you have a total pressure. What it means is that the pressure that this gas exerts is equal to the sum of the individual pressure that is exerted by the word individual word gases. Are we getting it now? So the sum or the total pressure is equal to the pressure from A plus the pressure from B plus the pressure from what C or if it's up to D plus the pressure from D. And this is the basis for the laws of partial pressure. The law of partial pressure. We state that the pressure exerted by a gas in a mixture of gases is equal to the pressure that it will exert if that gas were on its own. Or let me take it again. The partial pressure exerted by a gas in a mixture of gases is equal to the pressure that that gas will exert if it's standing alone. Your cooking of indomie in the whole step. The indomie you have is what you will have if you don't bring your indomie and mix it with other people's own. Same thing is applicable here. The pressure that you exert, the contribution that you exert to a group. For instance, in a group of friends, some of you, you are very, very good at talking. Some are good at what? Just smiling. Some are good at washing dishes. Some are good at giving advices. Some are good at fighting. Now, whichever, way, whichever one that you are good at, you make a contribution to the total group, isn't it? Isn't it? Now, what this thing is trying to tell you is that the total contribution you make is equal to, or the contribution you make is the contribution that you will still make if you are not in that world group, because that is your personality. So having understood all this, we said that the pressure is equal to force over area. The partial pressure PJ is equal to SJ times what? P. Here SJ is the number of the molar fraction. And the mole fraction can be calculated with what? The number of moles of the individual gas all over the total number of moles. So how do you get the number of moles of the total number of moles? The total number of moles is the number of moles of the individual gases summed together. Of course, we know that our number of moles, number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. Number of moles is equal to the mass over the molar mass. So from if they gave you the masses, you'll be able to calculate the number of moles for each of the gases. So let's take a calculation question under this particular topic. Now we have a question here. The question says, the mass percent composition of dry air at sea level is approximately nitrogen. You have N2 is given as 75.5 Oxygen 23.2 and argon equals to 1.3. And now you are asked to find the what is the partial pressure of each of the components when the total pressure is 1.0 atm. So total pressure P is equals to 1.0. 3 ATM. Now, when you are given a question like this, the first thing to do is state out our formula. Now, we know that the formula for total pressure, the partial pressure, is P is equals to Sj times P, which is Pj is equals to Sj times P. Where Pj is the partial pressure 
of the individual gases why p is the total world pressure that is given now p has been given to us as 1.3 atm p has been given to you as what 1.3 atm so what is required to do now is to find pg now before you can find pg pg is the unknown you must find uh, sg all the parameters that are given to you in this question is to find what sg for each of these gases now we were told or we know that sg is equal to nj over n sj is equal to nj over sj is equal to nj over n now for each of these gases our sj can be represented let's say for the first one sn2 will be equal to the number of moles nn2 over n but we have not calculated the number of moles of each of these ones so to calculate the number of moles so let's take the first one number of moles of nh2 is equal to the mass is 75 mass over molar mass over the molar mass of N our nitrogen is 28 this is gram and this is gram per mole now to calculate for that of oxygen you say this will give us particular answer to get that of oxygen this gives us n o2 is equal to the mass 23.2 over the molar mass of oxygen is what 16 but there are two atoms of oxygen there 16 times 2 now that of argon this will give us a particular answer that of argon is equal to what's the mass of argon given 1.3 the molar mass is 39.9 something approximately 39.9 so if you calculate all this you are going to get 75.5 divided by 28 this gives us 0.26 Alright guys, this was a mistake, it's supposed to be 2.69, it will be corrected later on in the video, thank you. 7, then we have 23.2 divided by 32, this gives us 0 0.725, 1.5 divided by 39.9. This gives us 0 0.0325 All in moles This is in moles In moles And what? Mole So this is the number of moles of each of the component This is the number of moles of each of the component Now have we gotten the number of moles? Can I clean this up? Let's state out our number of moles for oxygen is 0 0.267 This for nitrogen for oxygen is 0 0.725 and that of argon is 0 0.0325 all in moles now have we gotten this we need to get our what mole fraction for each of them the mole fraction is nj over what n so to get n what do we do to get our total moles you sum everything here together now summing there you have 0 0.267 plus 0 0.725 okay this cannot be 0 0.267 sorry this cannot be 0 point 75.5 divided by 28 2.69 rather so here 
2.69 plus 0.0325 now if you sum everything here together you are going to get your mole ratio which is 2.69 plus 0.725 plus 0.0325 that will give us 3.45 moles so our total number of moles n is equal to 3.45 moles now have we gotten our n as 3.45 moles since you've gotten your n as 3.45 moles what is required now is to calculate our mole fraction you've got your individual moles and you've got your what n which is the total number of moles by summing all the what individual moles together so for the first one which is the mole fraction of nitrogen is equal to nj what is the mole of nitrogen 2.69 mole divided by what is the total number of moles 3.4 5 that will give us 2.69 divided by 3.45 that will give us 0.779 now for that of oxygen number of moles is 0.725 divided by the more total number of moles 3.45 and that will give us 0.725 divided by 3.45 0.210 so this is for oxygen and the last one is that for argon that for argon will be 0.0 325 divided by total number of moles 3.45 0 0.0325 divided by 3.45 that will give us 0 0.00942 so have we gotten our mole fractions the next step is to calculate the partial pressures the partial pressure is equal to the mole fraction times the total pressure. The total pressure is already given to us as 1.0 atm. 1.0 atm. So calculating, now let's start with nitrogen. The partial pressure for nitrogen Pj is equal to the mole fraction of nitrogen is 0 0.779 times total pressure is what? 1. That will give us 0 0.779 same thing is applicable to get the partial pressure for oxygen p of oxygen is equal to more fraction the formula we are using is this pj is equal to sg times p the more fraction of oxygen is 0 0.210 times what is the total pressure is one which is 0 0.210 now the next step is that of our uh, argon. That of argon is equal to 0 0.00942 times the total pressure for nitrogen or the uh, total pressure is one. Partial uh, uh, mole fraction is 0 0.0942. This multiplied by this, I have 0 0.00942. All in ATM. This is ATM. This is ATM. And this is in ATM. So that is basically how to calculate the partial pressure of every gaseous molecule. Partial pressure of every gaseous or gaseous mixture. So if you want to calculate the partial pressure of the individual gases in a gaseous mixture, the first thing is find the number of moles of the gases present. Have you got the number of moles? Add the number of moles together to get your total number of moles. Then find the mole fraction by dividing the individual moles over the total number of moles. Now, have you got your mole fraction? The next thing is to multiply the mole fraction with the word total pressure that was given. 
So that is basically all. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.